Hello guys and welcome. It's been a long time since I last did a review, but then again, there hasn't really been much on the game to interest me, but with the Team of the Season MLS that's been released and also the footies to come, I'm definitely going to be getting content out for you guys. So drop a like on the video if we can push over 250 for this review today. We're taking a look at 85 rated to Santos. Very, very nice card. But yeah, let me know in the comments section if you want me to check out any of the other players. And if you are needing Ultimate Team Coins, head over to FIFAUltimateTeamCoins.com Links below in the description. Use the code Fuji, get yourself that discount. Or if you are wishing to purchase games, head over to G2A and also use that code Fuji. So I did play Dos Santos in a tasty 4-3-2-1 hybrid, and I gotta say, it looks very nice. And it was playing well. And with Dos Santos's card, 85 rated with some incredible stats: 90 pace, 87 shot, 75 passing, 90 dribbling, 35 defense, and 60 physical. Seven games, eight goals, no assists, and his in-game stats, honestly. I thought they were going to be a little bit better for an 85 rated card but overall he's got some nice physical stats there acceleration agility balance 85 positioning that's pretty good and his finishing long shots and also shot power are very very nice four star skills four star weak foot high to low work rates and he's also left footed looks like a nifty player let's check him out so i purchased the card for 180,000 coins and that is a little expensive especially when the player is coming from the mls i'm not hating on the league it's just not really sought after and with the footy cards as well being released in the upcoming days it's going to drive the price down of these mls team of the season so my advice is if you can pick him up for around about 100,000 coins i think that's a good purchase anything more i probably would stay clear and with the way he was playing like i'm making out like he's a bad player he's actually pretty damn good and his pace was very very nice he's got a nice burst of acceleration he uses that to his advantage his shooting I was very impressed with like what was working for me the success rate with his finesse shots were awesome that was probably like my go-to shot with the card having said that I was actually scoring a couple of goals from range so he has that in his locker as well he can shoot it across goal he's just a, a gifted player really on this game he feels good dribbling wise as well with the card he keeps it close to his body he can pull off those skill moves and naturally he's got high to low work rate so I didn't change any of his player instructions he was making some intelligent runs he was opening up the play and overall he felt like a very well-rounded card and you might be wondering well-rounded what are you talking about his heading isn't that great his heading is a hidden stat i don't know what was going on with the card i crossed it in four times and i converted three chances and there were all different kinds of headers where i crossed a, an early cross in i just lofted it back post and he was able to sort of use his jumping and just physicality to win the ball in the air which was a little bit interesting so overall i really liked him a major con though that i am going to tell you guys and it, it may not show it in the clips because i may have got lucky with a few uh, deflections and rebounds but his strength is really really poor so if you're slow to react when it comes to dribbling you are going to get bullied off the ball but i think that's just his only con like he's got good positioning and overall i actually thoroughly enjoy the card so i am going to give him a 9 out of 10 without a doubt and an overall enjoyment 5 out of 5 he's a pretty good pickup if you can buy him but like i said i wouldn't purchase him for any more than a hundred thousand coins thanks for watching guys and i will see you on my next review team out peace